Schools are dealing with medical warnings over excessive heat that we're dealing with at this hour, but some medicines you are taking can make it harder for you to cope with all of this heat. So we're going to look today at how medications put you at an, an increased risk for some complications, which medications can impact you, and how to know when to call for emergency help. With more on this is Dr. James Aiken with LSU Health Emergency to answer some of those questions for us today. Thank you so much for coming in, appreciate it. Always a pleasure. So why can some medications impact a person's ability to deal with this type of heat that we're dealing with? What, what, what is the connection between the medications and the heat and your body? Yeah, remember when we, we've talked before how we regulate our, our body heat, it has to be in a narrow 96 to maybe 100, 101, so we sweat and that evaporates. Um, we redirect uh, blood to the uh, arms so we can radiate heat. So many of the medications that are great medications in climate control work against us. For example, uh, high blood pressure medicine, particularly the beta blockers, the metropolols, calcium channel blockers, the, I mean, uh, the Norvasc and lisinopril, things like that, they're intended to stunt our ability to suddenly react to something in order to keep our basic meta, uh, metabolic uh, systems down to a healthy level, but that'll work against us. The other medication that is particularly um, unhealthy in heat is diuretics. So diuretics by nature will actually bring a patient down almost to borderline dehydration. You go out in this kind of heat, um, then you're gonna be tripped over so much easier than the rest of us. Medications, for example, for vomiting and things like that, the phenothiazines, they alter how the brain reacts to, to heat as well. Even some of the medications you don't think about, Adderall, for example, and Ritalin that are rightfully used under certain conditions, they actually raise the body temperature. And there are some medications that we don't talk about enough. Sunburn is a heat illness. Some of the acne medications and even antibiotics like Bactrim, tetracycline, increase our susceptibility to skin radiation damage as well. So it's a number of medications that do great things under normal circumstances, but if you're taking it, your only plan should be to completely avoid the heat. And you know, we've seen the video of the heat and just people trying whatever way to cope with it. So what should you do if you're on those medications and you have to be outside? If you absolutely have to be outside, we've talked about the, the importance of planning. So even before you feel ill, you wanna plan on regular breaks, regular hydration. You know, we recommend, on a normal day, we recommend up to 64 ounces to 100 ounces of, of uh, liquids a day. In, in heat like this, you wanna take a, a, a zero bottle, for example, health drink is 28 ounces. Drink one of those every single hour. But people may say, should I stop taking my medications because I need them? Well, this is where you get into uh, risk versus benefit. You have to say before you get off all your medications, call your doctor first. But the medications I would worry about the most would be the diuretics and some of the medications that intrinsically uh, raise your uh, temperature. But you know, a lot of people take over the counter like cold preparations. Benadryl is a great drug but the properties make us dry and make us a little hotter. So any over-the-counter medication that you can do without, stop that. The diuretics, I would look to, but call your doctor first before you do anything. And I guess, yeah, I think that's the key thing here. Give your doctor a call as we wrap up this. If you're taking medications plus trying to deal with this heat, call your doctor to get some answers. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. If I could it. just Thank make you. one last point though, when you are suffering from heat exhaustion or even heat stroke, your chances of getting it are gonna be much, much greater. So, you know, all the meteorologists are saying, we don't know when this is gonna end. So every time we are subjected to this, our chances of getting this become much more real. So the fact that we don't have any end in sight is also very concerning too. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you. We appreciate it.